to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to be going on a toy hunt. I know for sure I want to hit, like I'm going out of town. I got some business out of town that I needed to take care of. So when we're going on the way there, it's probably a little late to hit it now, to be honest with you. Like we're leaving a little bit later, and I'm probably not going to be able to reach it in time by the time it closes. However, I think on the way back, I am going to be hitting a target specifically. I checked it the other day. It was like a few days back. I went out of town for some tax to work. They had AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 6. They had a couple of Hagers. They had some Ray Phoenix. They had uh, some other things, but I want to hit that same target because I don't get to hit that target a lot. I know what my local target has usually, so I wanted to hit this other target, and I think I'm also going to be hitting one of my local Walmarts. I don't know how many sh uh, stores I'm going to hit in this toy hunt, but I'm looking to make some purchases, man. Really excited. I know Unmatched Series 1 has been hitting. I know Series 6, like I said, has been hitting. I'm really wanting to chase AEW figure, man. That's like one of my goals before the end of the year to find a Chase AEW figure in the stores on the peg. Still haven't had any luck with that just yet. However, guys, join me on this toy hunt. Let's go ahead and take care of some stuff. Hopefully, we hit it big today. Let's find out what we find. And uh, yeah, I'm always excited for toy hunts out of town, man, because usually, you know, hitting the same toy stores or the same stores, I should say, over and over again can really just grind your gears. You know, you go in the same, that's the same-ish every single time. And every Walmart, I'm pretty sure, is doing a reset. So since every Walmart is doing a reset, it should be relatively easy, right? Right? Like, I feel, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they should be getting some new stuff. Some stuff should be shifted around and everything. So that should be pretty exciting. Hopefully they get some new figures and stuff. But let's just shut the hell up, man. Let's go find what we can get and let's get hyped. All right, guys, here at Target. Holy Santa Claus shit. Look what we got going on. Darby Allen Unmatched Series number one, man. I can't believe it. Kenny Omega Unmatched Series one. Dustin and Miro. We don't have the rest of the set. We're missing the rest of the set. Britt Baker and Cody are not here, but this Kenny man, oh my god, bro, I can't believe it. I can't believe we actually found it. Darby looking insane. We got Ray Phoenix from Series 6 as well, and Jake Hager, but I don't see any, you know, I don't see any Chase variants. We got Shawn Michaels, actually, though. The top picks wave. John Cena got a collection of those. Rey Mysterio. I don't see Roman. We got the Chase Hardy right here, Elite 84. Buddy Murphy from Elite 84. But dude, oh my god, how? I can't I can't believe it. They still have these. They had these last time, but the unmatched series. So I don't know if somebody got Britt Baker and Cody or what they did, but dude, I mean, I feel like I need to get all four of them, right? I gotta get all four of them because if I don't, they're gonna be gone forever. But what a shot. No chase variant. Got Jake and two two of Jake, two of Phoenix. We got those Chinas, those poor Chinas, man. They just rot on shelves. But Drew McIntyre looking good. Got three of those. Few Cena's, Rey Mysterio, Billy Kay. Dude, I can't believe it. Absolute insanity. Absolute insanity, man. What a hit. Alright, guys, at Walmart now they have the top picks wave. We got some battle packs over here. Really wanted this battle pack just for the Seth Rollins head sculpt. But I gotta check the paint apps to make sure that, you know, we got good stuff going on. They got John Morrison and Kofi, AJ and Matt Riddle. We got some other elites. The top picks wave. Is what I'm seeing. Roman Reigns. They got four of those. The big dog kind of shelf woman. Uh oh now. Got four of those. Really nice figure. They, they'll they definitely move for sure. Got Rey Mysterio back here as well. And we have John Cena. So that's two stores now that have had multiple John Cenas. No Drew McIntyre this time. The last store. Oh, Sammy Guevara. AEW series number four. No other figures here, unfortunately. Always miss out on the full waves. I always get the leftovers, but we do have a couple of the Seth Rollins. I do want to check the head sculpts to make sure we get a good one. We got some belts in the house. Top picks Roman Reigns is here, but they don't have Drew McIntyre. And then at Target, it was the opposite, if you guys remember. They had all of them except for Roman, and now it's the opposite, but with Drew. But the AEW Series 4, Guevara, John Cena, Rey Mysterio. I definitely am probably going to be picking up the championship showdown pack right here with Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. I just got to check out the head sculpt, make sure that there's no paint deficiencies or something like that because I do want one to switch onto an elite. But Kofi, I really wish they would have gave him the rainbow hair instead of just the straight up blonde. But this one looks to be a little bit better as far as forehead size. So I feel like this one's just a little bit better than that last one. And yeah, this one's got some paint marks on it. So I think I'm going to roll with the second one. I feel like that's probably the best bet. Honestly, I'm going to get this one, but I'm not going to uh, pick up anything else, I don't think. But pretty solid little run right there. I, I like the way this is looking, Brad. 
All right, guys, we are back home after the toy hunt. It is a few days later, so I do apologize that. However, we got some good ish, man. I'm really excited for what we picked up today. I think you guys are going to be excited as well. You guys saw the figures on the shelves. Pretty impressed, man. Usually, I don't find ish like that. My boy Jonathan's usually the one that finds that, but I was the one this time. It was me. It was me. It was me. It was MDT. If you get that reference, you're a real one. But we actually found the Championship Showdown 2-pack with Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. Really sick 2-pack. I really just bought it for this Seth Rollins head sculpt with the ponytail or the man bun, I should say. You know, I didn't I didn't grab it for any other reason. So maybe we can make a cool fix up. I pretty much just got it for surgery, right? I mean, that's... That's pretty much why we got it. However, we also hit big, Brad. You guys already know the move. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, snap. Let's take a look at it, Brad. We got some AEW Unmatched series in the house. Now, I'm actually kind of on the fence about this. We did grab Dustin... We grabbed Kenny Omega, which I'm so excited about, man. I got it. Like, anytime I find a Kenny Omega at Darby Allen at retail, I'm probably going to buy it. I just feel like, uh, you know, I just want to collect those hardcore. You know how I have the 100 Cena's and the 50 Romans and the 50 Finn Balor's and all that? I really want to do that with the Kenny Omega's as well. I want to get as many as we can in there, and they're hard to come by, man. So when you find them, you might as well grab them. Darby Allen in the house right there. It's either find them at retail for 19 or 20 or if I ever want another one, I'm going to have to pay double, triple, quadruple the price on the line, so why not go ahead and do it? And we picked up Miro, which is so crazy, guys, because I feel like I just reviewed these, and I literally just reviewed them, and what? Now they're at the store. Okay, there's something in this box, but you guys will see his mic's here, his two interchangeable hands are there, both his hands are there, he doesn't have an interchangeable head. So what's in this box? Oh my god. It was a penny the whole time. Lame. Thought it was going to be a cool accessory or some crazy stuff. But the packaging is actually pretty damaged. I wanted to keep... A, you guys know that I'm trying to collect the whole thing. I want a mock collection of Unmatched Series 1, and I want a whole loose collection. I want to get every AEW figure mock that they ever release. And this one is pretty beat to hell. Like, it's got some pretty significant damage there. The Darby Allen is actually in pretty good condition. There's like a little dent right here. I mean, it could be better, but it's not terrible. It's kind of weird. I used to hate mock collecting. Now it's like a whole thing. This one I could probably keep mock if I wanted to. I don't know if I want to because I only have two loose Darbies. I kind of want some more to play around with, customize, things of that nature. The Kitty Omega, unfortunately, does have a few wrinkles in it. I'm going to open this one. Uh, I have two more Series 4 that I've kept mock, which is pretty shocking. I don't know how I've done it this long, but I've managed to keep those two mock. And then the Dustin is actually in pretty good condition as well. However, I don't know. I don't really have a usage for the Dustin, so I feel like the Dustin should be pretty easy to keep mock, but I've literally run out of room for the mock, man. I don't have any more room for the mock. What do I do? What do mock collectors do? Put them in bins? I don't know if I if I feel that, you know? Start tucking things in bins, forget that you have them, open them, open them up years later, and then what? But right here, man, we got Miro, we got Dustin, we got Darby, and we got Kenny. So excited to find this Kenny, man. Just, oh, Oh my god, that, that's a freaking gem, and I never find AEW figures like that. So we got the four unmatched figures, and then we got the Seth Rollins head sculpt right there. I'd say pretty damn good of hunting. Didn't expect it whatsoever. I was highly, highly shocked when we found them, but you know what, Brad? I told you, that luck's gonna change. I'm gonna find a freaking Chase variant. I thought I found one that day, to be honest with you, but I think that pretty much wraps up our toy hunt video. I hope you guys did enjoy the toy hunt video. I know we only hit two stores, but I hope it was enjoyable anyways. Just seeing the unmatched figures on the shelf is, is where the pop comes from for me. Just seeing that, I'm like, hell yeah, Brad, let's get it. So, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down below. Have you found Unmatched Series? I know it's either, I feel like it's either you don't find any AEW figures ever. I forgot we found that Sammy Guevara at Walmart as well, but it's either your Walmarts and your Targets have a ton of AEW and you find it all the time and it's Riho and whatever, or you literally have not seen an AEW figure, period, which makes me sick, but I feel like they're starting to hit pretty often. Like, hopefully this Unmatched Series getting them on shelves. I hope that everyone finds them on shelves, man. I hope it's just bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? And I hope everybody has an opportunity to get them, but hope you guys enjoyed the toy hunt anyways. Let me know what you're finding at your local Walmarts and, and Targets. I would say hit Target now, man. Series 6 and Unmatched Series 1 is hitting everywhere, and that is so good. Hopefully, some of you guys can find a Chase variant or something like that, but I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like
like, um, I don't know who crossed the line today. I guess, uh, any stores that don't carry the AEW figures. You cross 